This cabinet is so weird. The boy put his toys in it. He closed the door in the blink of an eye. When he opened it again, the toys came back to life. This made him very curious. He reached out to touch the little savage. But it pulled out a long knife. Mark immediately withdrew his hand. Apparently, from the savage's point of view, the boy looked like a giant. But when he reached out again, the savage, in an attempt to protect himself, to protect himself, the savage gave Mark a sharp jab. Luckily, after a brief conversation, and realized that Mark wasn't a bad guy, he was able to let down his defenses. In order to survive here, the savage jumped onto Mark's hand, and became his little brother. Mark found a toy tent for the wild man to sleep in, but he didn't like the hard material of the tent. And then Mark filed the cupboard, he put the plastic tent in and closed the door. When he opened it again, the tent was alive. He arranged a place for the savages to stay. He thought it must be a hallucination. So he found the toys under the bed, enough to put it in the cupboard. 